Dr. Drew. Then comes Righteous Hanover and the early trailer is All-American Captor. A relatively soft quarter time here, 28 seconds as they step onto the backstretch and on the front, Junior Mint taking control, Paul McDonnell controlling the pace, the lead is two lengths. Brando Blue Chip on the inside follows in second, Quality Western is right there in third. Odds on Dana racing in fourth to the outside, racing in five, it's Mystery Man. Best of Keen continues to race trapped on the inside. He's followed closely by make a success. Righteous Hanover is now second over the outside, some six off the lead. The half, 56 and three. A pedestrian pace thus far as Junior Mint con continues to control. Brando Blue Chip on the inside continues to wait. Here comes Quality Western. The Catman is on the move on the outside. And now Mystery Man kicks in here as he follows that cover in the fourth. Down to the inside. Odds on Dana will need racing room. And to the outside, Righteous Hanover is set to strike three wide. Three quarters and one, 25 and three. They're on their way home in the Hoosier Cup final. On the front, Junior Mint. He has led every step of the way. On the outside, Quality Western. On the inside, Brando Blue Chip and odds on Dana. Feathers to the outside, looks to kick in at the final 16th. It's Junior Mint, Quality Western, still there closing. Here comes odds on Dana. Down to the inside is Brando Blue Chip, but it's Junior Mint to take the Hoosier Cup. It won 53-1. Introduce the winner of the Hoosier Cup 2003, the 1A Junior Mint. Junior Mint, a Bay Colt by Northern Luck, out of Kisses and Candy by Jade Lobel. Up at the Jack Darling Stable Limited, Daniel Smith of Ontario, Brittany Farms of Kentucky. Darling, the trainer, Paul McDonnell, is the winning driver. Junior Mint sweeping the Hoosier Cup, winning his elimination and the final, the mile 153. One fifth. Also in the winner's circle, assisting in making the trophy presentation, is Butch Lockley from Survivor 6, the Amazon. The winner returns $2.60 to win, $2.80 to place, $2.10 to show. $8.20, the 182 Trifecta, $247.40. The 1824 Super Facta, $1,013. Again, well, he's been the talk of Canada all season long. Now he's starting some chatter in Indiana. It's Junior Mint to win the 2003 Hoosier Cup. With me is Paul McDonnell. Paul, were you kind of surprised you got the, the front end so easily and didn't really have to push him through the first half of the race? Yeah, that was a big plus for us. Um, but, you know, the horse has won 10 races in a row now. So, yeah, he's starting to get some respect, and uh, he deserves it. Now, do you have to keep after him? He looks like he's uh, not lazy, but just kind of goes at his own pace. Yeah, he's just the type of colt that just does what he has to and uh, no more. So you do have to keep his attention because uh, one sneak up on him pretty quick. So uh, when you're racing these kind of horses, they can do that. Were you pretty confident that he had a big final quarter in him to get home for the win? Yeah, up at Mohawk and at Woodbine, uh, that's where he's been the strongest, you know, the last uh, quarter of a mile. And uh, when you ask him, he's just all pace. All right, congratulations. You've got your junior mints to take you back to Canada, and I'm sure there's a lot of uh, people up in Canada that are really excited to see junior mint with the 2003 Hoosier Cup. Okay, wrap it. <laughs> wrap it. That's it.